What's up? Just a minute, Gracie. Why don't you take a seat? All right. Fun time's over. I want to know what's going on, and I want to know now. I have no idea what you mean. No, I. Then let me give you a clue. Earlier today, I had a certain unpublished manuscript in my room. Someone took that manuscript, and that someone was... Mosley. Shortly afterwards, it was stolen from the first thief by... Madeline Boothane. The second thief couldn't hold on to it either. It was stolen for the third time by... Victorio Buccelli. And the third thief disposed of it by... Burying it. Really? Yep. But this is slanderous. You cannot prove a word. Uh, yeah. He can prove it. Every one of you left prints. Santa Cello. Merde. I admit it. I did take the manuscript. But I didn't do it for my own personal gain or anything. I'm, uh... <clears throat> I'm CIA. Aha! That explains it. Outrageous! God, Mose. Congrats. Thanks. Mademoiselle Boothane, what's your excuse? I do not know what you mean. Don't you? Let's consider the fact that you have way too much equipment for a tour guide. But I am technically minded. And lethal. My guess is French Internal Secret Service. You are much too smart for your own good. Oh, and you, Signore? Or should I call you... Father. It is not illegal for a priest to travel without a collar. Oh, but you're not just a priest, are you? You came on a train from Rome, yet you lied. You said it was Naples. Why tell such a pointless fabrication unless you were hiding something? Like the fact that you're with the Vatican. That is not a crime either. But stealing manuscripts is. Perhaps it is time for you to reveal your secrets, Gabriel. Sure. I'm a private investigator. I'm here about the kidnapping of Prince James of Albany's infant son. James Stewart's son has been kidnapped? When did this happen? You really didn't know? Either of you? No. Certamente no. I came only to report on any activity in the area. The Vatican feels that there are certain uh, subversive parties who are trying to fabricate stories. Perhaps even go so far as to to stage certain finds, plant material. Naturally, the church is anxious that anything of the sort be prevented and exposed. Perhaps you are right, Signore, but we believe that there is something buried near Rennes le Chateau. That's why you were given this assignment? I have been watching Rennes le Chateau for a few years now. There are certain political interests involved. Interests which might not be working for the long-term stability of the present French government. Besides, if there is an archaeological discovery to be made here, such findings should be controlled by the French authorities. We want to make sure nothing gets smuggled out without our knowing. I thought you needed excavation permits to do any serious digging. Hypothetically, but several parties have applied for permits. We can only deny them for so long. Mose? The CIA thinks there's something going on over here with the Freemasons, the Priory, and the Knights of Malta. You name it. We've got to make sure our interests are being protected. You know, the good old U.S. of A. Oh, they, uh, they sent me on a tour as a kind of an audition, I guess. They didn't want anybody with legit CIA credentials. You know, anyone who could be traced. But I'll probably be starting full-time when I get back. And the digging, monsieur? Oh, intelligence got that tip from somewhere. I was uh, just supposed to, you know, check it out. So it was the CIA who infiltrated our computer system. <laughs> we thought it was the priori. It is not the first theory we have had, I am afraid. Our cipher experts work on it when they can. And it appears this was another failed attempt. 
Right, monsieur? I sure didn't find anything. And now we can go, yes? I assume you have not found your kidnapper among us? Doesn't look it. You were very masterful, but uh, you have not gotten everything from me yet. Perhaps you should come by my room and try a little harder, hmm? And I always thought the idea of chastity belts was cruel and sexist. I finally get it. <laughs> I doubt they invented one strong enough for Madeline. Thanks for finding the manuscript. Where was it? Bukele buried it out in the valley. I saw his moped from Blanchford. Good job, Grace. As usual. Prince James is at the Villa Bethania. He wants to see you. I bet. And there's some real progress on the treasure. With Sydney, I was able to... I'll, uh, come up later, okay? <laughs> Suit yourself. I just want you to know, you're doing a great job. Oh, so many people forget to say the little words of kindness. Monsieur is too thoughtful. Don't mention it. It looks like an empty plastic water bottle to me. It's got to be Estelle's. Lady Howard's lips have probably never touched plastic in her life. I don't want to take it. I don't want to... Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. You need to slow down before you hit oil. I appreciate your concern. I'll be finishing up here soon. Nothing, huh? <sighs> no, not a thing. Does she really need money that badly? Lily's not the sort to live like ordinary people. She was raised to, to shine. Oh, you wouldn't understand. Now, if you'll excuse me. She doesn't shut up that often. I'd hate to spoil the moment.
Can we talk about the case for a minute? Of course. I've been thinking about our list of suspects. Larry and Prince James are Freemasons. The Abbe is Priory. I think we can cross them off. Right. Bukele is Vatican, Madeline is French Internal Secret Service, and Mosley is, God help us, CIA. Yeah, it makes you think about renouncing your U.S. citizenship, doesn't it? I've survived Gingrich, I can survive this. But anyway, it's starting to feel like the end of Ten Little Indians. There's hardly anybody left. There's still Emilio and the two British gals. Come on, they're harmless. Well, okay, they're not exactly harmless, you know, from a sociological standpoint, but they're certainly not kidnappers. There's also Montreux. I deciphered Le Serpent Rouge, and it showed a red serpent on the map, with its tail wrapping right around Chateau de Serres. It really... well... It's pretty creepy. <sighs> I agree. He's our best suspect at the moment. I'll go check out Sarah's again. In the meantime, you keep an eye on Emilio, Lady Howard, and Estelle. All right. But be careful. I need to decide what it is I want to have happen before I talk to her about it. <sighs> I don't want to screw up again. You've made some progress with Sydney, you said? Yeah, I did. Several times. Well, what'd you find out? Oh, lots of stuff you probably don't care about. But it did help me find an entrance to an underground cave. I think Wilkes was onto it before he died. That does sound promising. Maybe we can go over it later. I have a few last things I want to do first. Sure. I do appreciate your returning the manuscript, Mr. Knight. If I'd known what Mr. Sinclair here was up to, I wouldn't have taken it in the first place. <laughs> For... Well, what's done is done. But I think it's time we had a serious conversation. Absolutely. Do you consider yourself to be a bloodline descendant, Prince James? Well, it may sound foolish to you, but a belief in our lineage and the responsibility that it brings has been the motivation behind everything the Stuarts have done for centuries. You see, we take our heritage very seriously. So, you think the kidnapping is a response to Sinclair's manuscript, to its positioning you as the head of the bloodline? It's not just the manuscript, but... but... yes. Have you received any demands from the kidnappers, or...? No. Look, I'm willing to give up my claim forever if that's what they want, as long as my son is safe. But we don't even know who to contact to make such a concession. The Priory swears they're not responsible and no one else has come forward. My God, I'm at the end of my rope. Perhaps it's not political. If I let myself even consider that it might be the, the night visitors, I can't imagine what they would want with... I'm sorry. I know how awful this is. What?
what are these negotiations between the Freemasons and the Priory about? Because of our common heritage, there's certain wisdom and property that's shared. And now that the dispute over the bloodline heir is coming to a head, these things must be settled. You're trying to get permits to excavate out here, aren't you? I don't know where you heard such a thing. But I admit we have been hedging our bets in case negotiations go badly. What kind of property do the Freemasons have? We have a few of the treasures that have always been sacred to the descendants of Moses. Like what? The Ark of the Covenant? Something like that? I'm not at liberty to say. But the bloodline treasures are dispersed. Whoever takes the mantle, in the end, will want them. All of them. Hmm. What about the Priory? What do they have that you want? The Priory controls the treasure the Templars couldn't take with them to Scotland because it was embedded in the very landscape. The treasure of Rennes le Chateau? Yes, but they are not to touch it until we've agreed on a treaty. You see? We have things they want, too. Does the grapevine motif mean anything to you? Viticulture in general? Yes. The wine of communion represents the blood of Jesus, and the grape represents his body. And the grapevine, in some circles, represents the disposony, the house of David. Uh, you have heard Jesus called the fruit of David, I assume. Of course. Where did you see such a motif, Mr. Knight? Oh, it's, uh, it's in the church. What about my son, Mr. Knight? I'm willing to tell you certain things, but please, have you learned anything new? I've narrowed it down to a few suspects. In fact, I was going to follow up on that right now. Very well. Mesme and I will continue our own efforts. We'll see you back here this evening, then. Absolutely. And, uh, try not to worry. I do appreciate your tenaciousness, Mr. Knight. Yeah? I've had shots for that, but... Oh, never mind. Um, I'll see you. What an extraordinary man. They're closed. Now that is downright rude. Now that is downright rude. So The chateau is closed, Monsieur Knight. I noticed. Well, I didn't see a buzzer down at the gate, so I had to come up. Now, I hate to bother y'all, but I'm leaving the area today, and I really need to ask Mr. Montreux just a few more teensy questions. Oh, please. Oh, wait here. My apologies, Mr. Knight. It is a very bad day for visitors. Boy, I've had some of those. This is probably really inconvenient, but I'm leaving France today, and I was hoping to feature Sarah's in my article. You, you, you made quite an impression on me. Did I? Oh, yeah. What I was really hoping was to snack a few more bottles of that Merlot. My editors won't let me give anything five stars unless they've tasted it. And boy, that Merlot deserves five stars. Oh, well then, I, I applaud your taste. 
Of course, I can get you more bottles. I'll have Marceau open the tasting room. Actually, I'm guessing, well, you guys have a, a wine cellar. Am I right? Yes. Could we go down there and get the wine? It, it'd make a much more romantic opening for my article. I could just make it up. But as you said yourself, God is in the details. I don't believe I said that, but I couldn't agree more. I'll take you down myself. Oh, well, I knew this place would be great. I was reading about those Roman mines they had around here. Does this cellar attach to anything, um, like that? Um, uh, no. Ah, here it is, the 76 Merlot. I've been thinking about what you said. About how the breeding of grapes is like the breeding of people. That is not what I said. Oh, it's a terrific analogy. Maybe even the angle on my new story. So, would you say this Merlot is like, say, a king of wines? <laughs> or just a gorgeous camp? Look at that. God, am I an idiot. No, please, don't bother. It's... Ow! Oh, my. Contrast. Oh, it's nothing. You are asking about the wine? No, not a prince. A little Merlot. Then again, it's not exactly wine in the box, I know. But yes, it's eminently drinkable. Right. Oh, gosh, look at the time. I have that flight to catch. I'll just... I'll... Uh, uh, thanks. Uh, see myself out. <laughs> I wonder if there's any chance that door could be... Well, I can always try. Hey, it's open. Uh-oh. up there. Most sacred. After tonight, the adepts will converge in Cairo. Oh, shit. Voila, Mission Night. What are you? Look. It's the man from the train! <laughs> 